Hi everyone, Deborah here. In this video I'm going to show you just briefly the basics of how to use Canvas Pronto. Pronto is an instant messaging tool, but it actually is pretty versatile. It has lots of tools and things you can do with it. And I'm just going to cover, like I said, the basics of how to use it for the purpose of Module 7. Okay, so uh, after you log into Canvas, what you do is you go over to the far left-hand edge and in the blue global navigation menu bar, you might have to scroll the scroll bar down to the bottom, and you'll see Pronto down here in the very bottom of that bar. Just go ahead and click on the Pronto button, and in the lower right corner of your screen, the Pronto window will open. Now you can uh, use it here in the um, lower right corner of your screen. There's certainly no uh, problem with doing that. Or you can expand it so that, and I'll show you how, what that looks like. If you click this little button here to expand it, what happens is a new tab of your browser opens up just with Pronto in it and you can use uh, Pronto the same way as you would in the lower right corner. In order to get out of this uh, larger screen, you can just click to close the tab at the top of the screen. Now that does not cancel or put, put it away, it just shrinks it back to the corner down here. To stop Pronto, you would have to click this little X button here. Okay, uh, basically the way to use it is to click down in the very bottom of it where you would be typing a message to someone and you can type the message first and then put the person's name or put the person's name you're going to send to and then type the message. Either way is fine. You can use uh, or rather you can um, send a message to one person or multiple people but uh, for the purpose of module 7 we're just going to send it to our partner. So in this case, I'm just going to send it to myself. I'm just going to type, all you have to do is type the at symbol. And when you do that, a list of all of your classmates, including me, I'm in there as well, a list of all of your classmates uh, in our class will appear. And you can scroll up and down to find your partner's name. When you find your partner's name, just click on it once. And then you can start typing your message. Or, like I said, you can type the message first and then uh, type at and look for your partner's name. So uh, I'll just type a quick little couple of words. When you're done typing your message, just press the Enter key on your keyboard and the message is then sent to that person. Now, if that person is uh, logged in to Canvas, they will see an alert pop up to let them know that someone just sent them a message in Pronto. I don't believe that it goes to anyone's email. It's really not an emailing tool. I'd be surprised if it does. Um, and if it does, let me know because I have never seen that happen. But anyway, um, just press enter and the message gets sent to that person. And of course, once you see that message, you can um, uh, if you roll your mouse over it, you get all these other tools, these neat tools you can play with to um, do things with. Uh, but if you're responding, you're just going to do the same thing. You're going to type at. That'll bring up the list. And you can either use the list to find your partner's name or once you get used to your partner's name, you can just, uh, instead of doing that, you can just type the at symbol and then type your partner's name and their name will appear uh, out of the list. You can just click on it and type the message. Press enter and your message goes to that person. Okay, now it, when you want to attach a file, and of course that's what Module 7's activity is, is all about, sharing a file with your partner, there's a paper clip that's the attached uh, attachment icon. Just click that then you would navigate to the place where you have the uh, file that you want to share with your partner and just um, double click on on that name of the file and it will show up here. When you're finished uploading it here, just press enter and it will be sent to that person. Another thing you can do in Pronto is have a meeting with 
video. With if you have a uh, webcam camera, video camera built into your computer, or if you have one attached that's working, and a microphone, of course, that's working, you can use this button to immediately start a meeting uh, with your partner. If uh, your partner also has the same equipment that you do, then um, you guys can meet together in a live online broadcast to, and you can even record it. Um, here I'll click on it for you and you can decide if you just want to have an audio meeting where it's almost like just like a phone call. You can turn off the video or um, you can just start the meeting. And hello, here I am in my office slash storage room. So um, you, uh, once you have that open, you can see all kinds of great tools you can use here. Um, you can even click this button up here in this corner to record your meeting if you want to do that. You can uh, make different choices here. You can share your computer screen with uh, on the on the video. Uh, so you can demonstrate things to people. It's almost like Zoom, really. It's very, um, very cool, and it's free to use. So feel free to do that. Okay, I'm gonna. Okay, I'm gonna stop the meeting, and to do that, in the upper left corner, there's a red button that says Leave. So you can click that, and you can either say Leave the meeting, or End it for everyone if you're the one that started it. So I'm gonna go ahead and end the meeting. And as it says here, close the tab to go back to Pronto. That would be this tab up here, the tab on top of your screen. Okay. And then this says that, you know, I hosted a meeting that lasted two minutes or less. Um, and I can delete that, in fact. Okay. Now, uh, once you start the meeting, you can you know, invite people. Uh, but again, you know, this is just a really basic uh, video on how to use Pronto. You you can explore that option if you want to do that with your partner. However, um, uh, I, you know, I'm not urging you to do that or suggesting that you do that. Uh, you really can just do some messaging back and forth and use this to attach your document file that you're going to be sharing together. There's other things you can do, but um, really, I just want you to use it as a, an instant messaging tool. Um, it's up to you if you'd like to want to play around with it. That's fine. You've got GIFs you can put in. You've got emojis you can put in as well. Um, so it's a lot more versatile than just the Canvas inbox. Well, if you have any questions, please let me know. If you have any trouble using Pronto, Again, please let me know and I will do my best to get back to you as quickly as possible.